Denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing, notice this, of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to read that again. <laughs> the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ, Amen. who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify of himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise I'm just preaching on this simple thought this morning the glorious grace of God Lord let's pray Father we love you thank you for your blessings thank you God for this place thank you Lord for allowing us once again to come asking you God to bless your people Lord you're already moving God I, I pray Lord that folks will still yet uh, honor your voice and the Holy Spirit as they move to the altar. And I pray, Lord, if there's those here that aren't yet saved, that today they would come and find the glorious grace of you, God, that they might have eternal life in Jesus and live in that place called heaven. Lord, we'll give you glory and honor and praise, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. Now look over at your neighbor and say, I believe you're looking as good as you can. <laughs> Go ahead, that'll help some of them, amen. Now look over the other way and 
say, bless your heart. <laughs> Uh, I get in trouble for this sometimes, but you know what? I'm, I'm too far along the journey to worry about what people really think. Uh, I believe if anybody has a right to be happy, it's yeah. God's yeah. Especially in our Father's house. Yeah. Matter of fact, the Bible said laughter is like good medicine. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I like being happy. I promise you. Outside of these walls, you're going to have enough discouragement, enough depression, enough, enough disappointment to last you all your life. Yeah, but we come in here, we ought to be excited yeah, and we ought to be happy yeah, for the glorious yeah, grace yeah, of yeah, all my God. God. Well, by grace are you saved through faith. Yeah, that's right. That not of yourself. So we can see this glorious grace that was good in the past. You say, well, what do you mean in the past? Well, the Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith. We didn't stay in that moment. Yeah. Yeah. Grace saved us, but then we begin a journey of walking with God in grace. Amen. Through faith. Somebody said, well, what is grace? Well, the grace is this. It's just the unmerited favor of God. We didn't deserve it. We couldn't earn it. But it's the gift that He gave to us. Amen. I think we could throw a little mercy on that to season it a little bit with the fact that mercy is we're not getting what we do deserve. Amen. But the fact God grace has come to our rescue. I'm glad for this. I'm glad for that grace that draws me. Amen. It draws me to him. I, I'll be honest with you. I didn't go looking for him. That's right. That's right. I, I really didn't go looking for him, but thank God he came looking for me. He knew where I was. I sometimes have misquoted. I'm sure maybe others have. Uh, not me too. But I, I, I find sometimes people say, well, I found the Lord. Well, the Lord never was lost. He's the one that found the Lord. So the growing power of God, conviction, the holy conviction of God, you don't, you don't hear of it much anymore. We don't see it like we used to. Uh, so I, let me just tell you what conviction is. Conviction is not what saves you. Holy conviction is what makes you wish you was saved. I mean, when God gets hold of you, friend, and be careful, He can put you on your back looking up. He will get your attention somewhere, somehow, for the salvation of God hath appeared unto all men. So what I'm saying in that is this. You're going to have to make a choice. At one point in your life, you don't choose whether He comes to you. You choose whether you accept Him or whether you refuse Amen. Him and walk your own way. Amen. See, we have that choice. God won't make us serve Him now. God won't make us confess now. But I'm telling you, there's coming a day Amen. when if you didn't, you'll wish you hadn't. Yes. Because the Bible says every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess uh, that He is the Son of God to the glory of the Father. And I promise you, it'll be a bigger meeting than this one here. Amen. Amen. There'll be a bigger crowd than this one here. Yes. But I'm glad, thank God, for the grace uh, that drawn me. What is that? The Holy Spirit. Then I'm thankful for the... Boy, not only did it draw me, but get a hold of this. I'm glad for the grace that delivered me. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'm glad for the grace that delivered me. Amen. What's that? The blood of Christ. Amen. Amen. What can wash away my sin? Oh, Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Let me say to you this morning, it's not just any blood. The blood of anything else will not do the sufficient work. It takes the blood of Jesus Christ. Thousands and millions probably of animals were, were sacrificed in honor of the old law. But thank God Christ came. And when Christ shed His blood, He died once and for all. There ain't nobody else coming. There ain't nobody else can get you to heaven but the blood of Jesus. I'm thankful for the blood. It's called a bloody religion. I'm thankful for the blood. But I'm thankful that our blood was shed in innocence for the guilty. Amen. We don't shed innocent blood. But innocent blood was shed for us who were guilty. Amen. Other religions would want you to believe that.
that if you martyr or you kill someone, you become a martyr. And they'll give you all this and all that. I'll tell you what, that'll get you. That'll get you your home in an eternal Amen. Amen. Look up here. Any time to pray yet. I'm telling you, friend, we need to get back to the basic faith Amen. of preaching the cross, of preaching the blood, and it's pure, it's priceless, it's precious. Why? Because it's still the blood that washes away the sins. How many is glad you've been delivered this morning? Amen. Amen. Right about six of you are. I said, how many is glad you've been delivered this morning? Amen. 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 The glorious gift of God, the grace of God that was given in the past. What about the grace of God in the present? Well, I'm glad this, I'm glad the Bible says this. Paul, Paul, a, a, a man of God who had once persecuted the church, has now been saved, baptized, walking with Christ. And the Bible said that he was sent a messenger from Satan which buffeted him. Yep. Now, I've heard all kinds of analogies and all kinds of thoughts on what it was. The Bible says what it was. It was a messenger from Satan. Yep. It's simply that that was sent to buffet him. In other words, what I'm saying is Satan knows your weak point. Satan knows my weak point. Satan knows what pushes our buttons. He knows where to come. And we may defeat him at times, but that doesn't mean he ain't coming back. So Paul prayed this. He prayed Christ, God, remove this thorn from my flesh. But God said no. Now what are you going to do when God says no? But I'm glad he didn't stop there. Come on. Here, here's where his grace is not only good for past, grace is good for present. He said, Paul, I want you to understand something. My grace is sufficient for thee. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. How did I make it this far? It's not by my works. It's not because of a song I sung, but because of a sermon I preached. Bless God. It's because of the glorious grace of God. Amen. So we see that grace is sufficient for us. And I like this verse. Now don't misrepresent it. But here's what the Bible says. Where sin did abound, grace did much Amen. more. Amen. Amen. What I'm saying is that, that don't mean just because I sin a lot, there's a lot of grace. No. Come on. That's not what that means. That means where sin did abound, this world. Sin is abounding in this world. I mean, you don't have to look very far to find it. Amen. 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 This epidemic of all of these things that's going on in our land today, you don't have to, you probably don't have to go five miles from here to find it. It's everywhere. Amen. It's no longer in the big cities. It's no longer far away. It's right here Amen. in this community. Amen. Amen. So what he's saying is we're seeing in a bank, and it is, there's still much more grace that there is sin if those will come. Amen. To find that's right. Amen. And that's not saying we can just go out and do what we want when we want and God's going to overlook it. No, a thousand times no. Somebody said, well, preacher, you think you're going to be perfect? I didn't say that either. I didn't say that either. I don't think, I, I mean, but I don't get up in the morning, <clears throat> get on the side of the bed and say, bless God, I think I'm going to go out sinning today. Come on. Oh, my as well, God want to forgive you. No, that's not what it means. Amen. What it means is this. You'll, you'll try to your best to live right. When I, I don't want to sin. I don't even intend to sin. But this flesh sometimes Come on, is man. still weak. Amen. 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 Is that good preaching right there? Amen. Whatever, Amen. whatever town we're in. Amen. I mean, that's the truth. That's the Bible. If any man say he hath not sinned, he's a liar. The truth of God is not in him. And Amen. the same book also says, my little children, I write unto you that you sin not. Amen. We're Baptists. We vote on everything. Let's vote on that right there. How many glad the Bible didn't stop right there? Amen. Amen. Oh. Amen. 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 We'd all been hurt. Amen. 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 But my little children, die. we have a propitiation. Amen. Jesus Christ the righteous. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Who God. is our son? To. He took our place and He died for our sin. And the grace of God that abounds here, we can have all we want. Amen. Do you understand you can have all of Christ you want? Yes. Come on. Come you can on, have right. all of God you want. I, I've talked with people. I've pastored 22 years. 
Here's what we'd say in eastern Kentucky where I'm from. I've been about far enough around the teacup to find the handle. Come on, Brenton. I'm old enough to drink coffee, I reckon. Don't really care that much for it, but I'm, I'm old enough to drink it. And, and, and what we would look at that, and here's, here's what we need to understand. That we're going to walk right and live right in this present world. Amen. To do our very best to represent Christ. Now, in representing Christ, we take on the formness of Him. In the fact of this, we don't do the things that we used to do. Amen. Uh, Is that okay? Amen. Here's what the Bible said. It taught, tells us that we are to be clothed in His righteousness. When I see people, I want them to know. Now, I have people come, you know, and, and they struggle with this thing and, and, and about sin and, and grace and all these other things. Let me, let me just tell you this. There's a better life in the life of a Christian than the struggling with that stuff. Amen. 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 Now, you do understand, when I speak of the land of Canaan, I'm not talking about heaven. Songwriters have misused the land of Canaan in the Old Testament. They would want you to believe that the land of Canaan, the promised land, was heaven. No, 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 no. That can't be true. Because there was sin in Canaan. There was giants in Canaan. There was obstacles in Canaan. There was walls. In... That's not heaven. Amen. Let me tell you something, friend. When we get to heaven, and I'm going, there won't be no more sin. There won't be no more need of grace anymore. Why? Because we know not what we shall be, but we know that when He appears, we shall be like Him, but we shall see Him as He is. I'll let grace go on the outside of the gate. I'll tip my hat and say thank you. did much more of that. So we see grace, the glorious grace for the past, the glorious grace for the present. Let's look at the glorious grace for the promised future. I believe this. Here's what Ephesians 2, 7 says. That in the ages to come, He might shew the exceeding riches of His grace in His kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Let me just simply say this. Let me just condense about 10 minutes of preaching into one sentence. Grace will get us home. Amen. 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 Well, I didn't say I wasn't going to preach 10 more minutes. I said I'm going to give you one line for worth 10 minutes of preaching. Grace will get us home. Yes, it will. Because that's why we're going. Amen. So let me, let me just say this. On the, on the other side of that, I see so many people Trying to live on a point system. Come on. Trying to live on works. It won't work. That's right. In other words, if I do more good things than I do bad things, maybe somehow I'll accidentally go to heaven. That's not true. Amen. Amen. For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. The Bible didn't stop there either. It said, but we are His workmanship created unto good works. What that means is, once you're saved by grace through faith, your works become different. Amen. Amen. You don't want to take the man's chicken. You want to take him eggs. Come on. <laughs> Y'all didn't get that, did you? <laughs> you won't want to take the man's chicken. That means still You'll want to take him eggs. Why would you want to take him eggs? He can get more chickens. Which come first, the chicken or the egg? It's all. It's been a question since Adam. I don't know. I weren't there when God created. All I know is I like both of them. Amen. Amen. Huh? It's kind of like it's kind of like both. We can see these works things, you know, and we look at that. And it's kind of like the farmer told his wife. He said, honey, in the morning, I want eggs and ham for breakfast. And the chicken cackled and said, whoop, that's good. Don't have a problem. But the hog said, now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute here. See, the chicken was just going to give a sacrifice. 
But the hog was going to have to make a commitment. Amen. Come on. <coughs> Come on. See, sometimes we want to think our sacrifices <coughs> is somehow good enough to get the attention of God. Come on, Come on. Obedience <laughs> is better oh, than sacrifice. Amen. Now, I'll be honest with you. You're not going to get to be obedient and not have some sacrifices along the way. Amen. That's just the way it works. It's going to happen that way. Amen. But what I'm saying is this. Quit trying to impress God with a good work. He just wants us to be obedient. Amen. And if we become more like Him, I promise you, those other things of the world will become less in us. Right. Until the day in the present future, and one of these days out there, I didn't do it today. I don't know. It was today, yesterday, the day before for someone. Who will be next? I don't know. It could be me. It could be you. They tell me that every time I snap my finger in this state alone, 11 people just went to heaven. Or heaven. Come on. What makes the difference? Saved by grace or religion won't get you there. Amen. 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 If you're waiting on a denominational enterprise to get you to heaven, you're going to miss it as far as you shot. Amen. Amen. We got to have order. I understand what I'm saying. You don't want to. I understand. I, I've been, like I say, I, I, I'm old enough now. I've, I've learned, I'd say, a, new, a few things. But I found out as I got older, and as I've studied more, and God has worked in my heart more. That the more I want to know Him, the closer He becomes to me. Amen. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I got saved when I was nine years old. <clears throat> now, I, it wasn't things I'd done, Brother Tim, that caused me to be a sinner. Somebody said, well, you couldn't have done much by nine. Well, maybe not. But it wasn't what I'd done that caused me to be lost. Amen. Sins will not send a person to hell. Come on. Come on. Sins plural. One sin. Only one sin will send a person to hell. What is that, preacher? The sin of unbelief. Amen. Right. The sin of unbelief. Come on. Sinners sin, that's their nature. Right. That's what they do. But unbelief is the only thing that will send a person to that awful place called hell. I know we don't hear about hell much anymore. Mom, nobody wants to hear those things. They want to come to, to 11 o'clock service. And, 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 and if you get up and it's week, the time change, you're not sure what for Sunday school. And, and you want to see the lights flicker. And, and, and you want to see the things on the screen. And you want to be tickled. And, and you want to feel it. And they go home. And if you ain't got nothing else to do, come to church to revival on Sunday night. Preach. Come on, Preach. Go ahead. Be careful, I'm not kicking the bucket over, but I'm preaching. Amen. I'm here to Wednesday, correct? Amen. So listen, what do we need to do? I believe this, and I'm close. Grace will get us home. But until we get home, we're going to need the assault. Amen. We're going to need that book. We're going to need His blood. And His grace is sufficient take us through. What I need to say to you this morning is this. You will stand before God for you. Amen. Come on. Amen. You ain't going to be able to look around and <laughs> work, well, man, where's my friends? Where's my pals? Where's my buddies? And all of these things. I can allude to the young boy that when he left home he had plenty as long as he had plenty, he had people. When he left home, he had finances. As long as he had finances, he had friends. But when all of that was gone, he looked around and the only thing he had was a slop bucket and a hall pen full of halls. Amen. Amen. But he remembered. Amen. Amen. Come on, brother. He remembered. Why, even the servants in my father's house have Amen. Amen. And yet I hunger. 
I know what I'll do. I'll go back to my father and tell him I've sinned against heaven and against you. Thank you Lord. I ain't worthy to be called. I'm not even asking to be Thank your you son. Lord. Just make me a hired servant. Do you know what? That didn't get him nowhere. But here's what he did do. What did he do, preacher? i tell you what he done. He jumped the rail, hit the tra trail, and kicked the pail, and went back to his father's house. Amen. Amen. And wondered. I mean, sweat, I'd say, come out on his forehead as big as your thumb when he got close to that gate, wondering what his father would do, wondering how if he'd be accepted or not. It's the nervous part of that. It's that part of guilt and conviction. But I'm telling you, when he, the father saw him, the father came running. And can I tell you, the father knows where you are. The grace will draw you, and that same grace will deliver you this morning. Amen. 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 Amen.